Hi, today we're going to take another look at creating progress billings in the Acumatica Construction Edition. From the dashboard, we can see that there are two projects eligible for billing. For today's example, we'll focus on the electrical project. Within the project, we can see that the billing rule has been defined as progress billing. If we drill into that billing rule, we can see how it has been configured in the demo system. Our progress billing rule has been set up to create $0 lines on the invoices. This is your choice. Some organizations find it helpful to show all lines on every invoice, while others prefer only to include those that are actually being billed in this billing cycle. The choice is yours. Returning to the project, we can see that the revenue budget level in our example is set to task and cost code. This is the level of detail that is used to define the progress milestones. Under the Revenue Budget tab, we can see the milestones set up for billing in this sample project. Looking at the percent complete, we can see that several have been marked as being completed, and this is why the project is eligible for billing. If we want to create an invoice for just this project, we can use the Run Project Billing button at the top of the screen. Alternatively, we can use the Run Project Billing task to create multiple invoices. We're going to run the task but just select the electrical project. When we click on process, the bills are created. Clicking on the process button, we can see a summary of all the pro forma invoices that were created. If we refresh the dashboard, the electrical project no longer appears in the projects to be billed query. This is because all items eligible for billing have been selected. However, this is still in a temporary state to give the project manager an opportunity to determine exactly what they want to bill for. Going back to the project and then to the invoices tab, we see the pro forma invoice that was generated. When we open it, we see that it is on hold. The project manager can now see everything that could possibly be billed in the current period. However, there is still the opportunity to change amounts or to remove items that we are going to delay invoicing on. In this case, the project manager is changing the amount to be billed from $15,000 to $10,000 on one line item and removing another line item entirely. These amounts therefore return to the eligible for billing state and can be selected for a subsequent invoice. Cost plus, also known as time and materials projects are similar. In this case, we've received some bills from our vendors for materials purchased for our Italian restaurant project. Once again, the project shows up as being eligible for billing on our dashboard. This time when we choose to create the project invoice, the details are brought into the time and materials tab. Once again, the project manager is presented with everything eligible for billing, and they can now choose if they want to bill all items, modify the amount to be billed, or remove items from this invoice. Because this is an invoice based on the bills received, they can also drill into those vendor bills.